Hello everybody. Welcome to Excel video 274. I've been working on a project pulling clinical data out of the cloud and into pivot tables and other Excel features for analysis. When you're ready to look at clinical data, I'd love to help you. We're going to keep working on, if I go back to the Home tab here, the Go to Special menu. And what I want to talk about today is precedence and dependence. Some of you are familiar with precedence and dependence from watching Excel video 197. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But Go to Special will help you find precedence and dependence as well. You slide this out of the way just for a second. What I have here is a sample employee where they worked 40 hours, got paid $20 an hour, seven overtime hours, there's an overtime rate. And this spreadsheet calculates their gross pay and then has some calculations in here for FICA and federal and state withholding and gets to a net paycheck. What I want to show you is if I select the precedence and click OK, what Excel will highlight is here are all the cells that precede or that this cell, cell C7, rely on to make its calculation. So by immediately selecting them, what I could do is I could come up over here and select these cells, and then I know that these cells are the ones that this cell C7 depends on, and if I tweak this and say I'm going to work 35 hours, this cell will change, and if I flip it back, that cell will change. I can do the same thing here, go to special and pick dependent cells. The direct ones or the ones that are impacted several uh, generations down, maybe we'll look at it that way. All levels are just the direct level. We'll do all levels even though I've only got one level in my example. And click OK. And what that says is, OK, this cell impacts this cell and this cell. So again, I could take those and shade those a little bit differently. Now, why would that help me? If I'm going to delete this cell, then the blue cells are going to change. On the other hand, if I delete one of these pink cells, then this cell will change. If you watched Excel video 197, another way to attack this issue is to go to the Formulas tab, come over here, I can trace precedence, and these blue arrows show me, hey, all these affect the $1,010 calculation. I can trace, let's remove those arrows and trace dependence. These are the two cells that are based on cell C7, the gross pay cell. I can remove those arrows. Two different ways to keep track of what impacts a cell. Typically, I'll use trace precedence and dependence, but if you're looking for a quick way to simply highlight all the cells that are impacted by a given cell or all the cells that have an impact on the cell I'm looking for, that's a way to do it. That's what I wanted to show you about go to special and trace precedence and trace dependence. Stay tuned, there are more tricks to use with go to special, and we'll start those again next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.